It's the end of Merkel Nye. That's what some have been asking themselves in Germany this week. We're just three months into Germany's new coalition government and already it's hit a major crisis. Once again, it stems from the migrant crisis from German Chancellor Angela Merkel's decision to open the floodgates to migrants back in 2015. German Interior Minister and Chairman of the Bavarian-based Christian Social Union, Horst Seehofer, he wants to shut those floodgates again and reverse Miss Merkel's policy, no matter what his boss tells him. He's threatening to not let basically any more migrants into Germany that have first entered other European countries. And he's threatening to do this without Angela Merkel's permission. Now, if Miss Merkel tolerates this open rebellion against her authority as Chancellor, well, she'd lose all her credibility, other government ministers would defy her, and her government would fall apart. Alternatively, she could fire Horst Seehofer for inst insubordination. But then, without Horst Seehofer's CSU party, she lacks a majority in the Bundestag, Germany's parliament, and her coalition would fall apart. Horst Seehofer has given Miss Merkel until the end of the month to find a European solution to this problem, or he says he is going to trigger this crisis. So now 10 EU leaders are going to meet this weekend to talk about migration, and then leaders from all of the EU nations are going to meet at the end of the month. But Europe's been working on this crisis for several years with no solution. So Miss Merkel is in a tight spot. But the worst part of this for her is that if she wiggles out of this tight spot, she's only got more tight spots to look forward to. And look how fast this coalition hit a big obstacle. Just three months. It's inherently unstable. Just a few rebels can threaten to bring down the whole government. Each party is being worried about being demolished by more extreme parties, so they've got very little incentive to compromise and work together. So it's a recipe for instability. The Bible forecasts a major change coming to German politics. Daniel chapter 11 and chapter 8 describe a strong leader rising, and they say that he won't be voted into office. He'll come in in a more shady way. And we've said for years that a weak coalition could help that, could be a way for that leader to come on the scene. And now we see a weak coalition just like that here. Miss Merkel may survive this crisis, but how long until the next? And the next? Another three months? Even less? We could see that strong man meant talked about in Daniel 8 and Daniel 11 very soon. And you can read more about him, more about what's coming to Germany and all of Europe in our free book a or booklet, A Strong German Leader is Imminent. Also in Germany this week, the government published its statistics on arms exports for 2017. It published those on Wednesday and they show that the total amount of arms exports Germany's been doing has fallen 10% compared to 2016 but it was still Germany's third largest year for arms exports ever. German foreign policy notes that several, quote, target areas are clearly distinguished as the focus of armament exports. Two of these target areas that are receiving a lot of these exports, they point on, are the Arabian Peninsula and North Africa. From 2008 to 2016, for example, Germany has sold nearly 4 billion in arms to Saudi Arabia and over 2 billion to the United Arab Emirates. Now, there's been a, a, a bit of a hiccup recently in that relationship as Saudi Arabia is annoyed that Germany still wants to continue with the Iran deal. But the long-term policy of dealing with and arming these nations is clear. In 2017, Egypt and Algeria were also big targets for German arms exports, with Tunisia also playing a, a smaller role. German foreign policy in that article talked about Germany trying to build up North Africa, North African navies especially, so they can help secure the North African coast. Now here at the Trumpet we've said again for several years to watch for German involvement in exactly these areas. In 2013, Trumpet editor-in-chief Gerald Flurry wrote that Germany has expected to clash with Iran and it has been working on a strategy for a decade or more. That strategy is almost complete. Germany has surrounded Iran. 
So Germany is already preparing to confront Iran and part of the way it's doing that is supporting these anti-Iranian or anti-Islamic extremist governments and armies in the Middle East and in North Africa. Daniel chapter 11 talks about this clash coming between Germany and Iran and Germany is already getting ready for it. The Bible also talks about Germany leading an alliance of Middle Eastern nations. And again, you can see them building that alliance right now. You can read more about these prophecies for yourselves in our free book or free booklet, The King of the South. And that will take you through all of those scriptures, show you why they apply to Germany, why they apply to Iran. You can order both this and the booklet that I mentioned earlier, A Strong German Leader is Imminent, at our website, thetrumpet.com. Just go there, click on the library tab, uh, go down to our literature, and then you can find everything that we have there. You can read it online. We'll be more than happy to send you a copy for you to read in paper for free.